<clears throat> told you guys I was going to load all this kind of stuff right here. Stuff that comes out of my motors. It's got aluminum on it. It's got some number one steel, I think. See that? I think it's got number one steel on it. I'm going to bring all this stuff into the scrapyard all in one conglomerate and say, what do I have for metal? Do I have number one? Do I have... My GoPro says it has 96%, but yet the battery keeps on dying every 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get it to last a little bit longer than 30 seconds. All right, I just threw away that battery. It said 96%, but it only lasts about 10 seconds. So that one I just threw in the back of my trailer. All right, eventually, I'm going to get this stuff loaded. All right, so... Today's deal, I got some heavy steel here, all mixed matched. I got some heavy steel over there. I'm gonna get it all loaded up, throw it in my trailer, head to the scrap yard, including that big old compressor thing there. And we're just gonna see um, what they tell me this material is. Can I bring this in like that and get number one prepared steel for it? That's my question. Can I bring this in? and get number one. Can I bring this? So the deal today, guys, is <clears throat> let's see what kind of this, what kind of money this metal brings at the scrap yard. Or will they give me number one steel for that? I've also got some old rods. I want to know everything. I got a lot of different heavy steel stuff. Bring it all in today. Find out what it's worth and how they'll pay you for it. Including a couple electric motors we're going to bring. We're going to bring a couple different electric motors. We're going to bring an aluminum one. We might even bring a copper one. Just to show you that my yard pays me the same money, whether it's a copper motor or an aluminum motor, and they're going to call it an electric motor. Whether it's copper or aluminum, a lot of my YouTube friends have been telling me that their yard won't give them electric motor prices. Just not sure why. Um, so, like I say, today, I'm just gonna bring some stuff in. See what the scrap yard's gonna tell us. Probably everything is gonna be all slid over to one side since my trailer's on an angle. But yeah, that's all right. I don't have a lot. I could probably fit it in a pickup truck when I'm bringing in. Um, but to be honest with you. I don't want to put all this stuff in the back of my pickup truck. It is kind of heavy by the time you get it on there. See here? It's so heavy. It's heavy steel. It's thicker than a... Thicker than a bed frame. We have some of them too. So. Alright guys, stick around. Let's get this loaded. I'll see you in a minute. Well, this is the big one. Throwing this on too. All right, so I got all that picked up basically. Uh, lawnmower blades. Hey, listen, lawnmower blades. I'm pretty sure they're considered heavy steel. Prepared because they're shorter than three feet. That's my guess. But today is the day that I bring it in. Yeah. Find out what the scrapyard says, not what grandpa says. All right, let's get this in. There it is. Gotta love that. Gotta love that thing. Ooh that makes easy work. Makes easy work. 
All right, so I got my heavy steel from back here. I'm gonna grab an electric motor, copper, and I'm gonna grab an electric motor, aluminum, and we're gonna see what they give me for that. Also gonna bring in these pieces that I took my motors out of and see if they will go for steel or if I have to pull all the plastic tabs out or what, because there's plastic tabs in them. But from what I understand, I can get prepared steel for it. So I'll bring them in. I heard I could get prepared steel for them. There's aluminum on them. Aluminum and heavy steel rod. They're gonna separate the aluminum from the steel. See, look at that. I'm gonna see if I can get number one steel for that. So hopefully today will answer a lot of questions that maybe you've had, that I've had, or anybody that stops by and watches have had. And by the way, Grandpa is not smoking cigarettes. Notice I said cigarettes. Um, and people have seen, since I've said that, smoke, I guess. And what people don't realize is some of these videos that I make might have been previously recorded weeks, weeks ago. So hopefully here real soon, all my videos will be update and current. <clears throat> but yeah, I've had, I've quit smoking cigarettes. I'm still struggling with, of course, um, the craving, you know. If you can just beat that craving for a few minutes, it seems like you're okay. So thank you everybody for your support. Anybody who has ever quit smoking before and knows what it's like, check this stuff out. Here, I'm putting, I got a couple old flat bars. All right, that's an oldie. It's not good for me, I don't like it. Wouldn't use it, it has some cast steel. Any cast steel. I mean, we have a whole bunch of different types of steel. We should be able to find out today. Good God. Man, wow. That's gotta be close to 100 pounds. There's that little bucket. That's the good thing about heavy steel. It does not take a lot of it. It does not take a lot of it. Whoo, yeah. Either grandpa's getting weak. Oh, that stuff's really heavy. By the time, by the time I pull over to my spot over there, I'm not gonna have a full trailer. I'm gonna have a good sized trailer of HMS heavy metal steel. Heavy metal steel. HMS. Let's find out what this HMS goes for. I'm calling it HMS right now. Heavy metal steel. Oh, let's see. I got anything else left in here that wants to go with me today. What else do we have? Oh yeah. All right. Oh, I know what I need. I need an electric motor. This electric motor has copper in it. This one, all right, I'm gonna bring this for an electric motor, has copper in it. Hmm, damn it. I might have to bring a better example. Ooh, one that's already been Rip down. Okay. I'm just going to bring a motor. Just like this. And I'm going to say. 
if I brought this in like this, just like that, whether it's copper or aluminum inside and say, I don't know. Just to say, I have no clue whether that's copper or aluminum on the inside. I know that's copper. I know that's copper. I cut them out and get HMS for that, I believe. Um, but we want to know if I bring in an electric motor like that, like Scrapman 69 does, whether they'll give me motor prices or if they're going to just want to go in there and scratch that copper to see if it's copper or see if it's aluminum. I want to find out that. That's a big question for a lot of people right now. Oh yeah. What else do I have? Uh, I got some stuff over here I don't want to take yet. I am working on cleaning my yard. I got it pretty good. I just need to organize now. See, I got I got to put some holes in that bucket. Forgot the holes. All these other ones I did. I got some aluminum. I got some e-motors. I got some number one copper empty. I got some more electric motors. Except these are copper and I'll be safe taking all the copper out of these so one day we'll be doing a video except for that that's an e-motor I don't take the copper out of these I take my 30 cents a pound these copper comes out so easy just quick, 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 four cuts it falls right out I like them a whole lot these are easy to recover copper the bigger they get the harder they get yeah for recovering the copper out of them that's definitely copper so I'm gonna have a whole barrel of them I got some uh, dirty stainless and another bucket it needs to be uh, micro scrapped out on my scrap table over there excuse me and hey, let's go pick up this uh, rest of my scrap there up front take this in see what it's worth I got an electric motor back there let's get my uh, uh, let's get my camera in here. My camera set up. Right. This can come out. Okay. What a beautiful Saturday. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It won't be long, all my coughs will be gone. Alright guys. This I use when I get the 55 gallon drums of oil. I empty my oil into there. And then I bring it down to a friend of mine because it's good oil he uses it for flushing his um, boat motors when he has to flush them and uh, yeah uh, he pays me for it all right Some goodness all right so today is HMS right so we're just trying to figure out what my heavy metal is going to be going for. <clears throat> heavy. These things never throw a rotor away. I mean, my uh, son brings these things to me. He works at a dealership. And they change a lot of rotors. So, at the end of the day, or well, the end of the week, brings them to me. And they're not going to do nothing with them. They could care less about rotors. Thanks for me. That's all good stuff there, cast. Got a little bit of cast, aluminum. Save all that for another trip. Anytime I get cast, whoo, boy, that thing was heavy. Anytime I get cast like this, 
like this. I separate that right there. You know what that is, a pulley wheel. I'll separate cast, heavy cast, like that. Some over here. I'll separate all the heavy cast stuff. Even though it has some uh, metal on it, heavy cast, 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 cast. Save all that stuff. Because tell you what, it doesn't take much of that stuff right there either to make a good load. So yeah, save it up. Get your big old barrel of it before you bring it in. And that's what I'm gonna do. I have another question. You know, these big metal bolts, they're not aluminum. To me, to me, and I'm gonna ask today, all these big bolts like this, to me, should be included in my prepared HMS. I'm, uh, I'm gonna find out today though. We're gonna find out today. H M S. Can I get that for my big bolts? That's a curious question. Can you get H M S for nuts and bolts because think about it, it's a pretty good size. Better than it's bigger than bigger than a bed frame, right? Bed frame. One more blade, that's what they compared the thickness for HMS. And these, they're all thicker than a lawnmower blade. So to me, I'm thinking it's HMS, but today, hopefully, we're gonna find out what is the truth about HMS and copper motors copper aluminum motors first thing I'm going to do when I get in my truck is call Tim from the scrapyard that we that I'm going to and say Tim are you available I'd like to come up there with a little bit of stuff that I have and and you tell me what it is so Would I get paid for an electric motor for just that? Will I get paid heavy metal steel for that? This, this motor, I do not know whether it's electric. I mean, excuse me, whether it is uh, copper or aluminum. So I'm just gonna say, all right, I got an electric motor. I got an electric motor. Do I get paid electric motor or how's that work? I throw that in. Just so it's out of my yard. My wife will be happy. I'll come back and get this stuff picked up this afternoon, put it in its appropriate buckets out back. Because I do have some. Man, I wish I could get that thing in my truck right now. I really need to get that thing out of my yard. Oh my word, that thing is heavy. That thing is super heavy. Oh, I just don't know if I can get it in here. I know I got my cart over there, but hey, I'm pretty sure that's cast aluminum. Whole block. That's a cast aluminum block. I might be able to get more money for that. Dirty cast. I don't know. Let's go to the scrapyard, guys. It is time. Let's go to the scrap yard. I'm gonna find Tim. Tim's telephone number. I'm gonna call him. It's fine. Let's bring this stuff in, guys. I called the yard before I got there and I asked for Tim Daly. He's my buddy down here. Uh, he works for Southern, Southern Metal. And you've seen him on my videos before. He is the operations manager. <clears throat> I should have called him in advance to let him know that I was heading that way with this particular ma material that I wanted him to look at with me. He told me he had to leave, so I'm hoping that maybe I can meet somebody else, and if not, I uh, might not be able to make that video this time, or we'll just have to save up for another time. But either way, um, we're going to bring this stuff in there and see what we can do. Scrap more Grandpa, Southern Metal Recycling, Wilmington, North Carolina. What's next? 
2923 Highway 421, Wilmington, North Carolina. Southern Metal Recycling. All right, so all I have for non-ferrous metal is this little bit of um, aluminum that came out of that air conditioner. So I'm gonna grab that so I don't have to go through the non-ferrous part. And just bring that over there. Let them put it on the scale whatever way they want to do it. Hopefully they don't tell me that it's dirty because it has copper on it. And uh, the rest of this stuff I'll have them look at. See, I've got cast steel and I have steel steel, which rotors are steel and I think brake drums are, steel, are heavy steel. And I think, um, I mean, uh, yeah, wheel are steel. I know blades are steel. I'm thinking these would be just heavy steel like the rotors would be. But these are cast. I'm not sure how they do cast. And I'm not sure how they would pay me for something like this. This. Just carry this over there so I don't have to drive my truck through it. I guess these are the bins that they come out and grab because they're empty and somebody like myself brings something in that's a lot of batteries look at that that is a lot of batteries. Wow. That's a pallet. I'll tell you what I do with my batteries, guys. My batteries, I bring them to Advance <coughs> Auto. And they give me a, uh, what do they give me? They give me $10 a piece. But they don't give me cash, they give me a credit. So if I need to buy something, then I can use that credit to buy it. But $10 a piece for my batteries. And I bring them there. So I don't, I'm not sure. I'm thinking you probably get about $4 here, maybe for a battery, 15 cents a pound. I'm not sure what it goes for, but I know uh, I brought batteries in here or to the scrap yard, I should say, uh, before in the past. And I don't think I get quite as much as I get at the AutoZone. I'm always needing parts at the AutoZone. So I'll save them, save them up. When I need something at AutoZone, I go there and tell them, I need this, I need that, and they just give it to me, basically. Now, they don't take lawnmower batteries or motorcycle batteries, but they do take, you know, car, truck, whatever. We got Ryan on the on the fork truck. You can tell it's Ryan because you can't see his face. Mm -hmm. Ryan on the fork truck. He's taking it slow today. Need my license plate number, I got it. Sorry. No, I don't need it. You doing all right today, boss? Oh, yes. Beautiful day. Sense. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. John Henry. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, Ryan.
I'm not going in. Yeah, I'm not going in the non ferris You can go around. I just carried mine in. No problem, brother. This is heavy cast, cast steel. Heavy cast steel. I have stuff like this. These are from the inside of motors with the big, I'm not sure, it does have some cast aluminum. Of course, I've got my rotors. I've got some heavy steel uh, ornament -like type things like this. I have some rods, heavy steel.
just wait until maybe it's not quite as busy. Nobody coming through the line. And then maybe I can have one of these guys come out and just look at this stuff over here and tell me this is considered heavy metal. There's a difference between cast, cast aluminum and steel. I mean, cast steel and steel are different. I'm sure these are different, but I'm hoping that they're going to give me pretty top price for everything it's going to be mixed so i'm just going to have them take a look tell me what kind of stuff that i have right here if they will oh, wait i'm gonna wait until i don't see nobody coming in and right now i don't so i'm gonna call him on the phone and see if he'll run out here and just look at this and tell me what do i have in my truck I wanted to do a video with Tim Daly because he's he's uh, one of the big guys over there. I was hoping to get him out here, but it's a Saturday. He's busy. I didn't give him any advance notice. Sorry about that, Tim. But I do want to plan on putting another load like this together another time and have you maybe come out and critique it with me and separate it maybe into a couple piles or maybe it's just all one pile find out when we go through the gate here in a minute but um yeah that's what i want to do with you tim but so you've got stuff like this i put just stuff like that in my heavy metal steel of course somebody could use something like that but i put it in my pile to bring in here for this sorting day got my stuff over there but yeah all right oh shoot i gotta get my radiator out that's not going in today take that out non ferrous uh, put that back here and after I leave here we'll go into my honey hole go to my honey hole we're gonna pick up my burn barrels seems like I might have a bunch of them sold all right Okay, got my 25 pounds of aluminum rads. Let's crank her up here. Put these behind me. Let's go over here and get in the right line. Hey Siri, call Aaron, Southern Metal Recycling. Calling metal. Oh. Hey Siri, find Aaron, Southern Metal Recycling. Sorry about that. I was trying to call Southern Metal Recycling and I dialed your number by mistake. This is Scrapping with Grandpa, Scrap Metal Recycler. We got somebody coming out to take a quick look. Got 11,320 pounds. Hey, boss man, I, I really appreciate that because I didn't know, and uh, I should have called um, before I came in 
to Tim, but I have stuff like this. I have bed frames. I don't know if this is heavy metal, like my rotors are. Yeah, that can go. That can go as number one. Would be. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. These things here, uh, that does have these little plastic rings in them, but that's it's all steel, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's fine. And um, I have this, this stuff. I'm wondering about these. These are because they have that. I thought, and they're heavy metal steel, but they have aluminum on them. That's heavy steel on the inside. This yeah. is the core of an engine, a motor. Core um, of an engine motor, electric motor. But that is solid steel. Right. Like these. That's a solid piece of steel on the inside. It's so that, that will have to go on number two? These would be number two. Yeah, but put it all together. I mean, it's, it's not a big, it's basically the same price. I had this type of metal. Would that go with my rotors or would I have to put this as a separate number normally? Two, yeah. This would normally be a number two. Yeah, because it's got a lot of aluminum. I mean, a little aluminum. aluminum. It does have some aluminum on it. Yeah. Like these. Yep. So from now on, we will separate these into yeah. a separate pile. Clean number one. That's all number one with and my then, frames. Oh, yeah. how about bolts like this? These are steel bolts. Number one, number one steel. Yep. Okay, good. good. This would be. That's number one. Number one steel. Big frames like that. That's uh, this is a frame for. Good to go as long as it's less than three foot. Yes, it is. It's, it's good to go. It's, it's there. Okay. Um, these are metal barrels and lawnmower blades like this. Yeah, that can go as number one. Okay. This particular thing, is this just regular shred? Yeah. Shred. But that, okay. that I mean, it's prepared though, so it can go in this group prepared. here. Okay. See that big thing up there? That's solid metal steel uh, mm -hmm. railings like I mean, these. Like I said, everything, everything here is less than three foot, so you're good to go. Okay. Stuff like this. Yep. That's what I mean. It's all good. It's good? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Sure, no Yeah, hopefully that answered some questions. She won't dump. Right. I figured he won't drag that out anyway because it's all that good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, buddy. Get that goodness. That's a heavy tank right there. That's not a light one. Heavy. What is this big truck? Is that a ram in it? What pushes that metal out? They got a hand unloaded? Look at that. We hear about twice a day, usually every day. Look at that. That's some goodness right there. That's some good stuff. Oh my word, look at that. Goodness gracious, I like to have that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, drive six you know what I do with that? I tear that down. goodness in here. Good. Good. that little bit in the back.
Yeah, baby. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Thank you, my friend. Oh, beautiful day, man. Thank you. Thanks, bro. You have a good weekend. You too, buddy. We're out. Let's go see a wolf, man. All right, let's see what we're coming back across that. Oh, I'm at 1% on my battery. Ten thousand sixty. Excuse me, 1,400 pounds. Can't even read the ticket. Yeah, 1,400 pounds for about 160 bucks. So, you know, 10, 11 cents a pound for, for uh, number one steel right now is not a good price because I've literally gotten 16 cents, I think, 14 to 16 cents before, but it is what it is. Um, I did get uh, 30 cents for them aluminum brads. So uh, $174 total. Um, the only thing about it is all this money that I got except for this one and I guess this one oh, I thought I had some uh, consecutives but I don't but I did get some consecutive one dollar bills and this this print actually is looks like to me I'll be honest with you like an era note because it has some has some extra ink and generally when a bill has extra ink and this is definitely ink from the printer so it has extra ink that came through from the back I'm gonna see if there's an error maybe possibly in that note and if so find out more about it it's actually almost on this next note you can see just a small trace of it interesting guys this is interesting and then the next note has nothing on it so it could be an error so i have one two three notes 27 28 and 29 oh what we got and 30. so i have four consecutive notes two of them which look like there's era ink that came from the back to the front i'll be curious to find out information on them in the meantime i'm gonna save them over there and uh, yeah, scrap more grandpa, what's next guys? Uh, let's go to the burn barrel honey hole and pick up some burn barrels. I've got a bunch of them sold on Marketplace. I just gotta pick them up, get them to my house. Beautiful day. Hope everybody else is having a beautiful day cause I sure am. Grandpa is loving life every day. Make every day your best day. Every day your best day. Scrap more grandpa, what's next? I love you all. That's what's next.